Welcome back. It is time for a big announcement here on Morning Joe for Know Your Value and Forbes. The reveal of our second annual 50 over 50 list. It is out this morning celebrating amazing women over the age of 50 who have achieved significant success later in life, often overcoming major obstacles. Our honorees have rejected the notion that the best, most dynamic parts of their lives are behind them as they age. They are thriving. The women on this list are extraordinary and include Supreme Court Justice Ketanji Brown Jackson at 52, actress Cheryl Lee Ralph at 65, author and psychologist Marsha Linehan at 79, civil rights activist Dolores Huerta at 92, and many, many more. Over the next few days, we're going to highlight several phenomenal women who made the list and we start with a member of our NBC family, Hoda Kotb. Hoda Kotb has been an icon on Today for more than a decade, coming into our homes before the sun is up with curiosity, compassion, and that beaming smile. Hoda's journey was not fast or easy. Rejected by 27 different companies before she landed her very first job in local news, spending a decade in the Midwest and the South, until she got the call from NBC News back in 1998 to be a correspondent on Dateline, to then spend years on the road. In 2007, she joined the Today family. Shortly after, Hoda revealed she'd been diagnosed with breast cancer. Today was not a good day. Openly sharing her pain and eventual triumph over the disease. In 2018, she was named co-anchor of Today with Savannah Guthrie, becoming the first female anchor duo to lead the show. Together, they cover the most crucial stories of our time. She had already been co-hosting Today's fourth hour for a decade. With her professional career thriving in her 50s, Hoda decided to openly dream and make motherhood a reality, adopting her two beautiful daughters, Haley and Hope. It was Savannah who nominated Hoda to be on the Forbes Know Your Value 50 over 50 list. Hoda is a living, breathing demonstration that you can have it all and you can have it on your own terms. She is authentic, she is devoted to her family, and she's an incredible professional and a wonderful journalist. I recently sat down with Hoda and she told me that at 58, she's never been happier and that everything has come right on time. Congratulations. I cannot believe it. <laughs> By the way, I have the old Forbes 50 over 50. I have the magazine. The very first. I have the first one. I was like, St. Marshall, who is, let me. Uh, I was learning about all these women and I thought, how do I not know them? I was just fascinated by it and honored. It's an amazing list and I think it has an amazing message. And that is long runway. Mm. <laughs> Longer than we thought. I remember when we were both at NBC and I just, I just remember where we were in our careers mm -hmm. and how we were kind of hobbling on and wondering, like, was the end 15 years ago, 20 years ago, could that have been the end of our careers? And look at us sitting here. <laughs> I mean, it's so... It's My so career actually ended. <laughs> I got fired. Yeah. And yeah. then you, um, you emerged. <sighs> I heard the saying, it gets greater later. It gets greater later, and it does. It gets greater in every single aspect of life. Did you ever imagine your career after 50? No. Oh, no way. I didn't either. Well, I think it was because we, we kind of watched people's careers come and go, didn't mm -hmm. we? It was like uh, you knew that there was, there was always the old guy anchor and mm -hmm. the young girl anchor, and you never kind of It was watched. never us. It was never, <laughs> ever us. I think it was kind of funny. Like you watched, you watched this, and you thought that was the norm. Mm -hmm. And then one day, you turned 45 and you were here, and you turned 50 and you were here. Then you looked across the street and you saw Katie Couric, mm -hmm. you saw Merida Fiera, yeah. you see Oprah, you see Gail King, you see Robin Roberts. You see Savannah and You Hoda. see Savannah. Hosting. <laughs> Two women. Yes. You can't be it unless you see it. You're like, oh, we, we can do that. Like, that's a possibility. And yet for you, it's multifaceted. Like, what would you consider your greatest accomplishment over the age of 50? Um, my greatest accomplishment over the age of 50 uh, is having Haley and Hope, without question. Who would have uh, imagined 
that. I didn't see it coming. <laughs> I yeah. literally watched it live yeah. when you broke the news, yeah. and I thought, are you kidding me? A friend of mine and I were walking down the street, and I remember, and she said, well, we never wanted kids. Mm. And mid-sentence, I said, well, actually, I did. And she said, well, you never said that. And I said, well, because I'm 50, so I, I don't want to say it, but I've always wanted them. I've always kind of dreamt about it. And lo and behold, the minute I said it kind of out into the universe, I started thinking, like, why not me? I think it really actually makes the message of 50 over 50 so much more robust. You mm -hmm. can achieve massive success over 50. We have women over 60, over 70, mm -hmm. over 80, mm -hmm. over 90. Wow. Reaching their highest impact, really killing it. And what you're telling us is that you can find happiness, too. <laughs> I know I have never, ever in my life been this happy, never. This decade of my life is by far the best decade I have ever had. And I would never have imagined that to have been a possibility. Did you ever have a moment in your life <clears throat> before the age of 50 where you almost gave up? The one thing I think I do really well is I get up. I used to play basketball in high school, and I believed with 15 seconds on the clock down five points, we could do it. I calculate. I was like, you know what's going to happen? I'm getting the ball. I'm going to shoot. I'm going to get fouled. I'm going to hit the two. I'm going to go for that foul shot. I'm going to miss it, but get the rebound. That's four. Get like, I believed to the end it was possible. I can't wait to ask you this next question. What do you say to uh, younger women in their 20s and 30s mm -hmm. who are... Um, like I was, mm -hmm. rushing, trying so mm -hmm. hard to like check off all the boxes, like constantly in a rush because you think you've got this clock ticking. Don't rush, don't rush it. All the best things in life happened in my 50s and we took all the lessons we learned and kind of applied them. I, I think just slow it down. Uh, I remember I actually called Robin Roberts and I said, oh my God, can you believe I'm 50, whatever I was, 52, and, I'm, and I have a baby. And she said, you know what that baby is, Hoda? And I said, what? She said, that baby's right on time. Mm, and I thought, everything's right on time. Your job for you is right on time. My job for me right now is right on time. We're right on time. Two beautiful girls. Mm -hmm. I have two mm -hmm. girls. I love it. I loved it mm. when they were little. Mm. Hope and Haley. Mm -hmm. So for women thinking of a similar path, what's it like? Um, I love having children in my 50s. I love having a three and a five-year-old. I love it. Um, when I go to the gym to work out, I make sure I lift 40 pounds or more because <laughs> I want to hoist Haley. My trainer's like, what do you want to lift? I said, I want to lift 40 pounds. Haley. <laughs> and when she, turned, when she weighs 50 pounds, I want to lift 50. And I feel like having kids in your 50s, I mean, I'm so much calmer than I was. I'm so much smarter. I'm living in the moment. My girls at sea, I was 28 and 30, and I was so, I was on overnights, mornings, whatever I was doing at MSNBC, that stuff. Yes. Everything was so rushed. rushed. Yeah. And if I could do it again, I would do it in my 50s, because I feel <laughs> like I have so much more to offer, and I can be still. Yes. And love it. Yes. So I think it's like, it's like savor and linger. That's what I'm trying to do, savor and linger. I love it. And Savannah, who just turned 50, nominated Hoda, which is so amazing. We have an interview with Savannah. And you can watch my entire interview with Hoda at knowyourvalue.com, Forbes.com.